we're going to go ahead and review a free program that I just came across. Um, it's made by Slimware. I usually use Slimware for their uh, uh, Slimware drivers software, which, which is called Slim Drivers. And uh, I need to make a tutorial on that program now that I think about it, actually. But Slimware Utilities, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, Slim Cleaner is actually um, the name of this program. Slimware Utilities is the name of the company, but Slim Cleaner is the name of the program we're going to be reviewing. And I was using uh, Slim Drivers, which I will make a tutorial on that software pretty soon too. But this Slim Cleaner program, I'm very impressed by it because it does so much. I think it blows C Cleaner out of the water. And on top of that, it's free. And it has so many extra features. This is what the program looks like here. And uh, we'll get into it here in a bit. But first, let's go ahead and t take a look at the PC Mag, is PC Mag website and uh, see what they had to say about this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pros and cons. But first, it, it got uh, rated as excellent. So if it got rated as excellent by PC Magazine, it means this program is pretty freaking good. All right. The pros they say about it is that it's free, of course. That's what I like about it. It's free. No license restrictions. Ability to schedule tune-up sessions. So you can actually schedule when you want your computer tuned up, which is awesome. Browser cleanup and search engine selection tools. The cons is that it can't install multiple applications at once. And that's true. And it can't delete multiple duplicate files at once, which uh, that can get a little tedious if you got to do one by one. And um, to do uh, to rate it, you actually got to have a web connection. Bottom line on it that they say here is it's free, effective, featuring innovative community based problem solving. Slim Cleaner is an excellent application. I'm, I'm reading from the actual thing here. Uh, excellent application for those who don't want to pony up money for a tune up utility. And uh, so it's basically for people that, you know, want a free software, PC cleaning software that that's free, that works perfect. All right. So this is the website where you can download it. I will post the link on the description of the video so you can go ahead and download it. Let's go ahead and dive into the program. This is what it looks like here. And right off the bat, it'll start off, uh, well, we have a menu on the side here, left side, it's for to clean the computer, to optimize it, to uh, do u use utilities with, with your software, your browsers, manage your disks, and use Windows tools. And you also have a log you can look at. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the at the cleaner section here. Now, what I thought is the uh, I'm still trying to figure this out. But in the Windows section here, it's okay. You can delete log files, memory dump, recycle bin. You can do all this. But when you go to applications, I unselected all of this because I don't know if it's gonna delete those applications or it's gonna clean them. I still don't know what it's gonna do. But I unselected all of them because. What if actually uninstalled them? I'm not sure. I recommend you do that too. Correct me if I'm wrong on the comment section of the video if you know more about this program that I do than I do. But I went ahead, just right click and click on unselect all. And make sure you unselect all of these programs because I don't know what it's going to do to them. But as far as Windows uh, and system logs and all that goes, you can go ahead and the system, the Windows history, Windows utilities, you can go ahead and clear that the browsers you can go ahead and clear all that stuff too. advanced we don't have to get into that registry don't have to get into that once you uh, select what you want to clean go ahead and click on auto clean and click on yes it's gonna tell you you need to restart your browsers click yes all right and in click on Intelli Intelli cookie filter it's going to ask you if you want to defrag your hard drive also. Tell it no. Or if you want to defrag it, go ahead and click on full defrag. But right now I'm just going to say no. And there it is. I've already done this here a while ago. That's why I did it so fast. But if you have a lot of junk on your a lot of junk on your computer, it's going to take a long time. Let's go ahead and take a look at the optimize section on here. Now, this is really cool. I like this. It's going to right now it's telling me what's starting on the startup. My computer, I don't want nothing on the startup, and this is a perfect opportunity for me to go ahead and clear the startup. So I'm going to go ahead and select. I recommend you only keep your antivirus program on startup. All right, so that's, I'm going to do all of them though. 
you guys caught me, I don't use an antivirus program. It's because I already know how to protect myself, and if I do get a virus, I know how to. Yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and remove all this startup stuff. I'm going to click on Remove Selected. Click on Yes. There we go. Nothing on startup. Do not, and I repeat, do not mess with services, okay? Only mess with startup. Never mess with services because you, you, if you delete the wrong one, your computer might not work again. So only you, only uh, clear up your startup except for your antivirus. The only thing that should be on your startup is antivirus, okay? Let's go to software. Here you can actually go ahead and click and uninstall software. Remember, we were looking at the reviews. You can't uninstall multiple software at the same time. You got to do one by one. If you find a piece of software here that you don't like, you can click on it. Click on uninstall. All right. You can also show updates by clicking on this uh, checkbox here, and you can see updates also, which will give you a really big list. Here's all the updates. All right. Let's go to browsers. Here, it'll show you what browsers you have installed. I have Internet Explorer and I have Chrome. And it'll tell you what's installed on those browsers, and you can go ahead and remove stuff if you want. I'm going to go ahead and remove uh, sticky password because I don't want to use that no more. Click on yes and I'm going to click remove. Yes, the sticky password is now removed. Battlefield play for free. I use that all the time. Google Wallet. Uh, I'm going to keep that for now. And you can just see what's installed on your browsers. And that could be what's making your browser so slow. You have all these add-ons on there and you can delete them from here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the going to keep bugging you to if you have if you have your web browser open it's going to keep bugging you to close it you get a little annoying let's take a look at the disk tools I'm gonna click on click on your drive click on analyze it's analyzing let's see this doesn't take too long so from here you can actually do a disk wiper you, you have a shredder tool you have a defragment tool, and you have a duplicate finder tool. So if you have too many duplicate files, you can come here and uh, get rid of those duplicate files. Now, this is probably going to take hours, maybe. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel that for now. But you can go ahead and analyze for problems that way. And the Windows Tools section is just uh, a shortcut to all the tools that your computer already has installed. For example, system information, you click on that, and it'll tell you all the information on your computer. And if you guys notice, I'm only running on 2 gigs of RAM, which is not good. I just ordered 4 more gigs because uh, it's so slow with only 2 gigs. So if you only have 2 gigs of RAM, I recommend you update. <laughs> but here it will tell you everything you have, all the information of your computer. And you can get to many, many other things, device manager, Windows update, uh, control panel from here, user accounts. And you can get to this on your computer by going to the start button. But this program puts it all in just one place for you, which is pretty handy. I like that. Alright, and that's pretty much it. And then you have your log, but I really don't have much on there right now. It'll scan. Let me see what you got on there. It's basically a hijack uh, finder tool. This is more advanced, but basically, if you have any programs that have hijacked you, you'll find out through this tool right here. The Slim Cleaner has a little bit of everything. I like it. It's really awesome. I'm gonna keep it. It's free, and uh, I think I might use it instead of Seep Cleaner now. We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys have any comments or questions, go ahead and comment on the comment section of the video. I did post a link on the description of the video so you can down where you can download this program. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm always uploading new videos, and I'll see you in my next video.